Today what we're going to do is show you how to make some igniters. There's other ways of doing it and I've got some nichrome wire that is a better way but in my rat's nest of workshop I can't find it. Now what I did was I pulled one end apart and then I wired the two together as a shunt. That keeps static electricity from uh, igniting the wire. Next thing I did is I pulled the other end apart and you see I cut one end shorter than the other. Okay. All you're going to do is you're going to take your filament wire and you're going to twist it on. You're going to bend it down. See, so I got the filament coming up. Then you're just going to wrap it a couple of times around your wire. Okay. And then you will twist that end up. So what happens when the electricity comes through, it gets on this real, it goes from coming down this big pipe to go to this little pipe, right? Well, when you get the electricity coming through this single filament, it's going to heat up. And we're going to dip this in our solution. Okay. To make the kind that will ignite a fuse, you take your piece of visco fuse, however long you want. This is just for some demonstrations with a little short piece. You take your needle and you push it through the end and you want it to go straight through the center so it goes through the powder train. Then you pull your needle out, take your copper filament and run it right through your hole and thread it through the hole. And then you'll put that on your ends just like the uh, normal one. Alright, so now I've got my lacquer here got my igniters pretty simple you just dip them in there and then lay them out to dry I've got a little cardboard box off where you can't see it but I'm just letting them hang off the edge okay take them Dip them in. And then I'll just lay them off the dry. That's all there is to it. Alright, stay tuned and we'll do some testing.